How is that bass drop? Like that? Hey, while you're up, we have a few open seats here. We have a lot of people standing in the back. We'd love to find seats for them. So be a good neighbor if you can start to squeeze in a little bit. We'd love that. Appreciate that. We have we have a great event today. Was I on you great or what? Uh, hard to follow. Um, I want to talk about a few things here on our vision and our direction and where we are headed. And from a product perspective, what we think about at New Skin. Like Eileen, I've been at New Skin for a long time. And I've been able to make a lot of friendships uh, with, with leaders and watch the leadership progression. And it is amazing to see when a leader catches the vision and empowers themselves and changes lives, not only for themselves, for, but for their groups. Okay, I, I want to talk for the next few minutes about where we are heading as a company. When you talk about business, you want to talk about where we're heading. And one way to look at this are mega trends. Euromonitor International is a, is a research firm, international research firm, that sets, that lets people know what the trends are that are happening globally. And I just want to take a look quickly at each one of these categories, and then let's evaluate how New Skin participates in this. And let me just say that there are multi-billion dollar companies that focus on one of these categories. So let's start with experience. Experience more is an important place where we, uh, where we can play. Experience is, is, we provide a new skin, is that not just going to a shelf and picking up a product, we have that connection and we provide that relationship. Can we provide a better ex product experience at New Skin than any other place in the industry? Okay, so we, we participate better than most companies in experience. And we are focusing in 2019 on experience. Shifting market frontiers. What is that talking about? It's talking about that millennials are growing and it's a new market that's coming. We have an aging population that's getting older. Um, markets like China are growing. Uh, uh, Latin America is seeking to get out of, uh, of the lower class, right? Do we have any Latin Americans here? Huge opportunity. Do we participate in shifting market frontiers? Are we growing in the millennial category? Absolutely. Are we growing in Latin America? Do we participate well with our demographics, our uh, Chinese, Vietnamese, Korean? We doing all right there? Huge opportunities, and we're a global seamless company there. Healthy living. Like I said, there are companies that are just focusing on healthy living but we have a whole category of products that help you live very healthy. Ethical living, sustainability, giving back, doing corporate social responsibility, doing good for the world. Do we participate there? Has anybody heard of Forest for Good? That's who we are. Middle class retreat, the, world, the world's middle class is having a, strong, a, a difficult time progressing and making money and making ends meet. Do we have an opportunity with this category? Yes. We, are, we are poised better than anyone to help people to uh, change their lives and empower them to take, take uh, ownership of their life. Premiumization, products that are the best in class. Do we have those? Yes. We put so much science and research into our product, and we prove that they uh, have results. We have the premium product, but does that mean that all of our products are the most expensive? No, we have products that are the top in class, but we have entry points all throughout our product category. Shopping reinvented. You'll hear a lot this week about how we're going to improve the, the shopping experience. And 
there are new ways to bring people into our business, and we are positioning ourselves in that area to be, uh, become a leader. And then the con connected consumer. All we need is a mobile phone to do our business nowadays, right? That's all we need. So we are positioned in every single category uh, for growth, and these are the eight categories that, that, w that we will see massive growth in, and we participate in every single one of those. Now let's take a look at the market size. Talking about North America, we, are, we sell nutritional products and personal care. These are large categories. We sell almost $90 billion is generated in personal care and $45 billion in nutritional. And these are the, some of the fastest growing categories uh, for growth. Do we have the right products to participate in this category? Okay. Now let's talk about direct selling. We are a direct selling company. Um, it's a $35 billion uh, market, and direct selling sells a lot of things. They sell apparel, services, durables, also personal care and nutritionals. And did you know that in direct selling, over 50% of the products sold in direct selling are personal care and nutritionals? So those, and those are the largest categories, and we are, are poised well to play in this area. So, are we in the right categories of products? Yes. Okay, these are things that we think about at New Skin, and we are, are, are trying to uh, improve what we do. Um, now let's take a look at our product line. Based on those macroeconomic trends, and those, those, those areas where we need to focus, do we have products that change lives? Do you guys see any products that are some of your favorites? Yeah. Isn't that, isn't that Instaglow great? Mm -hmm. How about that uplifting cream? You see an instant result there, right? How about that Lumispot? You're gonna be hearing a little bit more about uh, our beauty device category and make sure and listen tomorrow. Tyler 